Okay, we're caught up to where we were. Thank goodness. Good morning. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay. I'm gonna get up. Okay, I need to get dressed now. <laughs> In other words, you can't black out now. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. <sighs> the fact that she put the photo next to mm -hmm. Rachel is so touching. Girl! We're not even, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna ask. Not even gonna ask whatsoever. I'm, where, oh, get dressed. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. Oh, bitch, no, she is not. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare bitch. you. Kiss me now. We're doing this right now. Hang on a second. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him oh. he doesn't stand a chance. <clears throat> unless he's yes. in the girl and action. Yes. You're such a dork. <laughs> now I can text Chloe. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. Where is she? she? Hold I on, where did she just go? Did she leave? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, there she. How did I miss her? I didn't even see her lying back there. She was so shook. Look 
looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Okay. Wait, where are we going again? Do we have to leave? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. <laughs> Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer. And Not a bad. Model. I really do want to see what like a three-person friendship between all three of them would have looked like. <laughs> oh, we can actually... Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like what? No! No! Miss Caulfield, I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to that roof with her. You must know you did all you did. Oh, you must know you did all that was possible and that, and that Kate's life was never in your hands or even hers at that point. Kate has left us for another world, but she will always be with us. And I know, and I know she's she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard Marsh. Oh my God, sir! I don't even know how you got my number, but I'm so. And this was the let. I'm gonna cry. I am Ooh, literally I going to cry it. today. But it's going to be for such an amazing reason that I don't even mind. Bam. Period. I really love the way she looks. I love the way she looks in these. What was... Pinhold. Take optional photo number six. Okay. You know, I gotta wash my hands first. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. No, I'm not gonna use other. I'm not gonna and use other toothbrushes. Absolutely not. Oh, excuse me. So she's not coming with me. Is that what's happening? Oh, shoot. Oh, it's Joyce. I'm sure she wouldn't mind having me over, right? Hey. Good morning, Rachel. Joyce. Rachel, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what uh, you want to chow on. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, Yay. you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? Well, no okay, here's the milk. Good thing her step ding dong is not here. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Um, she said eggs, so I don't know where. 
newspaper, bottle. I don't know exactly where. I don't know. I don't know exactly where. Jeez, oh, hmm? can you help me get this bird? Where out is here? it? Pardon me. Oh shoot. Three dead birds lined up. Oh shoot. It looks like I lagged. <laughs> it looked like I lagged. Sitting in a I don't want to sit on that doesn't get so comforting. But my question is, she said help her get a bird out of here. What bird? Why are there just dead birds bird in, in the in the backyard? Why are there so many of these? I wonder how these birds died. Were people just killing these things and then tossing them over the dang? No, no, that's just too. No, no, that's too much. There's no way. There's no way. She said help her get a bird out of here, and there was a bird making noise, but I don't know where. She probably opened up this window though. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. I really wish I knew where the eggs were. I know. On, I'm, I'm looking for. So we can chat out. I'm looking for the eggs. I don't know where the eggs are. I'm so blind. Okay, hold on. I will cut to when I find the eggs because that's where we are. <laughs> We are there. We are at that point. I will be right back. Are you kidding me? Why are they right here? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I didn't even need to cut. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she hmm. is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, mm? are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. Mm. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh my goodness. I'm really liking this story. Ow, my arm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never <laughs> good. You can clean. <laughs> good, you can clean. Fair enough.
No, that's it's like what moments I call like pancakes. this in this game where it's a whole conspiracy cover up type nobody mystery. Waters the plant here. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive Jeez. headline. That is terrible. Moments like this, just Max in here eating pancakes in the morning. It's a nice change of pace. I'm glad that's creamy so and not now crunchy. What? Do I can I get up? Oh. Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wait, let me see. What was that? I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... And... I know, Joyce. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody mm. else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's Where gotta they, be hiding shit. They've been moved. Okay. Yeah, let me look in here. Excuse me. See what you've been hiding. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. Are you absolutely kidding me right now. I need more clues. Oh, their wedding day. Cute. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Hmm. Nope. Nothing to see here. Damn. Such wrong. Padlock? Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty mill. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. I. Okay. Nothing in it. There's got to be something. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from. Huh. I'm mad Maybe it was this my ID number might work. Wait, 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 wait. I saw something. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. I don't even... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, never mind. Let's 
such a bozo. Okay. It has to be this. Are you kidding me? Magic 8 Ball says no. No way, Max. What? You totally froze Hold the laptop. Wait, wait, wait. See? Trash can. Freaking. That's why. This is exactly why we have rewind powers. This is exactly why. So. Screw that. Nope. No way, Max. You took the top. Alright, there we go. It has to be this last number. It has to be. You have to be kidding me. Oh, shit, balls. No way, Max. If it's not that, then what is it? So I could that try the work. license number for the password. That doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe this ID number might the work. The family thing doesn't work. The padlock thing doesn't work. I'm confused. So if it's not this, it's not either of these. It's not that. What is it? Tape? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Nope. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Mm -mm -mm. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. All right. Well, let's just try the rest of these and see which one works. Oh. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Truth be told, I'm sitting here right now trying to remember who Frank even is. Who was Frank? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This man literally... Seriously? Trash. This is so wrong. This is so wrong? Oh, creepy bastard. I really hope he feels bad about what happened to Cage. Kate. He should. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. Can I like close and this? Bad. Can I close these tabs? No? Whoa, spoiler alert. 
Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Nice breakfast. David, you, you're back already? I have to take a nap after hmm. writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Oh, God. Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides getting trouble? I'm trouped? always gonna side with Chloe for one, because this guy's an asshole. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. <laughs>